Hello, welcome again. Today we are going to be tapping around a fairly big topic and in general the energy of not enough and you might need to choose a particular in relationship to what. Um, so I'm going to invite you to tap along and use this as many times as you need to to move the content for yourself. You're um, going to be fairly gentle with yourself, tap through the points, talk about whatever you need to talk about, and you want to keep going with it, you know, daisy chaining, chasing the loose ends of the ideas and thoughts and emotions that arise until you get to a place of relief. Um, and then even then, you might want to keep tapping a little bit further and bring yourself all the way out the other side into clarity and optimism. So, I'm going to just start with some general tapping to remind you about the pattern. We begin on the side of the hand and there's always some version of even though whatever's going on paired with I choose to accept myself. So even though right now I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm feeling not good enough. For 10 seconds, I can focus on and allow compassion for who I am and where I am. So that was twice, we'll do a third time. Right now, I don't feel good enough, and I love who I am. I love the journey and the story of my life, the depth, the breadth, the complicated and amazing nature of my life. So we always begin with the setup on the side of the hand. And then we move through the points, beginning of the eyebrow, continuing to talk about your topic. So today, I don't feel up to the challenge. Moving to the side of the eye, there is too much going on. Deep breath. Under the eye, I'm overwhelmed. I don't feel that I can get through everything I need to do right now. Deep breath. Under the nose, I don't know if this will work out. Chin point. Obviously, I would like for things to work out, but right now, I'm really struggling with this on the collarbone. I don't even want to sit with how rough things feel and how big the challenge seems to be right now. Under the arm, it's no fun. I don't like how I feel when I feel small. Deep breath. Going up to the top of the head, just gentle pat, pat, pat. I have not been feeling good enough. Beginning of the eyebrow. Right now, I don't feel big enough. I don't feel good enough side of the eye. This thing happening right now is a bit much. I don't want to be with it. I would like to run away under the eye. My life is complicated and I want it to be simplified under the nose. I don't want to work this hard 
for things to turn out on the chin point. All of this challenge makes me feel that I'm not good enough, that I'm not big enough, that I am not capable on the collarbone. I don't like feeling small. I don't like feeling incompetent under the arm. It would be easier to hide. I would rather sleep. I would rather have candy. I would rather distract myself. Top of the head. When I'm not feeling good enough, when I'm not feeling up to the challenge, I am tempted to run away and hide from my problems. I'm going to shift a little bit now to a particular, um, I'm going to go with masculine first and we'll come back through and do the feminine also. It's the beginning of the eyebrow. I am not enough. I'm not enough for him, side of the eye. He is asking so much of me. I don't feel that I can meet his demands under the eye. What he is doing does not feel fair. He is pushing, he is demanding, and I don't feel up to that challenge under the nose. I can't be what he wants me to be on the chin point. I don't think I can be what he needs me to be on the collarbone. This is uncomfortable. I don't want to be present with his demands right now. Interacting with him is uncomfortable and I feel small under the arm. I don't want to let him down and I don't want to give in to all of his demands. Top of the head, all of this, he makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm going to shift over to the feminine now, so beginning of the eyebrow. She is asking too much of me. I can't be what she needs of me, side of the eye. I am struggling right now to know how to be with her, how to do the right thing or say the right thing under the eye. She has so many demands. I don't feel good enough for her under the nose. She keeps pushing. She keeps asking for more, demanding more. I don't feel good enough. I don't feel big enough on the chin point. I can't be what she needs. I can't be what she wants. This is no fun at all. I'm barely miserable in relation to her right now. Collarbone. I'm not feeling good enough. I don't feel that she will ever approve of me. I don't feel that she will ever forgive me. Deep breath under the arm. She is asking too much of me. Come on up to the top of the head. I don't feel up to the challenge that she has presented me. And then we're going to go back and forth with the male and the female tapping through the points. He is pushing too hard, the beginning of the eyebrow. He is asking too much, side of the eye. She is so demanding. I hate the way I feel under the eye. He 
is so impatient. He is unkind under the nose. She is impatient and she is unkind on the chin point. I don't like the way I feel. He is asking too much of me. She is asking too much of me. Collarbone, I've been feeling small. I've been feeling incompetent and overwhelmed. I don't like the way he makes me feel. I don't like the way she makes me feel under the arm. Deep breath. This is too much. Something has to change. Top of the head. I don't trust him to choose something different. I don't believe she will ever change. Beginning of the eyebrow. I think I know his pattern now, side of the eye. I think I know her pattern now, and they will never, ever give me space to be who I am under the eye. Waiting for them to be okay with me hasn't been working under the nose. I am here not feeling like enough, waiting and hoping, trying on the chin point. I've been pretzeling myself, trying to do what they asked me to do. He keeps asking for more. She keeps demanding more of me on the collarbone. This is miserable. Deep breath. <sighs> Under the arm. I don't want to do this anymore. The way things are right now is not working for me. Top of the head. I don't know if I've ever said that out loud to him. I don't know if I've ever said that to her. This isn't working for me. Beginning of the eyebrow. Those are new words. I don't think he wants to hear that. Side of the eye. I know she doesn't want to hear that from me. This isn't working under the eye. Deep breath. And this is my life. There is a space here that if I will not claim and defend and care for my well-being, why should anyone else? Under the nose. I hate that. I hate that I have to be the one to stand up for my space. Chin point. I've been waiting for someone else to care for me. For someone else to demand and command my change. Collarbone. That's so silly. Deep breath. And I can see how I was taught that. I can see where I was conditioned to wait and wait and wait under the arm. Waiting didn't work. Waiting did not create the life that I require. Waiting brought me misery. Top of the head. Years and years of waiting and pretzeling showed me that I can be miserable. Beginning of the eyebrow. Deep breath. I've been through a lot. Side of the eye. I know other people have also been through a lot. Under the eye. Right now though, Right now I get to acknowledge what I have been through. Under the nose. Right now I can hold space on the chin point. Right now I can have compassion and allowance for my story, for my thoughts my feelings, 
my emotions. Collarbone. Deep breath. These are mine. I can hold them. I can project them out into the world. I can share them. I can stuff them down under the arm. I can choose to numb myself and shut down and hide again. That is an option that I have top of the head. I've done that. I've been there. And it loops me back around to the same misery. Beginning of the eyebrow. I don't like that pattern. It's very uncomfortable. Side of the eye. I don't think there's a version of numbing that actually lasts very long because there's me underneath pushing to escape under the eye. Deep breath. Right now, I choose to love that about me, that I want out, that I am uncomfortable being trapped, being caught and kept under the nose. That's an interesting thing about me to witness, chin point. I need space, I need freedom. I require movement, collarbone. A lot of what has been uncomfortable are all the places I participated with playing small under the arm. I can see that right now, that there was a component of my cooperation that has allowed this misery. I wasn't speaking up for myself. I didn't believe that I could change things. Top of the head. That is what was true. I believed I was stuck. I believed I had no choices. Beginning of the eyebrow. I did believe I was stuck. Side of the eye. I did act as though I could not escape. Under the eye. That was true. That has been my life. Under the nose. I am having a new experience now on the chin point. I am opening space for a new reality now on the collarbone. Deep breath. This is new and different. To consider these things that have been uncomfortable. This is new and different to have permission to name the things that hurt, to feel my feelings and express them however I like. Under the arm, deep breath. I can acknowledge my past and open space for change at the same time. Top of the head. This has been uncomfortable to hold still and now it is uncomfortable to change. Beginning of the eyebrow. I was in that place for such a long time. It makes sense that a lot of how I think of myself is that pattern of stuck and trapped. Side of the eye. I am learning. Deep breath. 
I am willing to change now. Under the eye. It may take choosing again and again. I may have fast progress. I may have slow progress under the nose and I give myself permission to claim and acknowledge my progress. Chin point, whatever that looks like for me. I have permission to move at my own pace. Deep breath, collarbone. I am looking now at my possibilities. What will I create? I wonder, what will I choose? Under the arm. No one was asking me. I was not taught to choose for myself. I was taught to obey. Top of the head. This space of wondering can be fun and can also be a challenge. Beginning of the eyebrow. I love that about me. Deep breath. I am seeing now the options that I do have side of the eye. I am witnessing now the journey of my life, the path that I have chosen, the places where I felt compelled and obligated under the eye. I see now what was true and I'm asking new questions. I wonder what's next for me under the nose. What works for me now on the chin point? I can dwell on what was true. I can fall in and sit with not feeling big enough, not feeling good enough, collarbone. There are people who will push me to feel small. There are people who will invite me to know that I am capable and feel big. Under the arm. I know now that I do have a choice. How I think how I take actions, top of the head. I can notice when I'm spinning in a pattern of pain. I can notice when I am tearing myself down. Beginning of the eyebrow. I can acknowledge old patterns for what they are. Side of the eye. I do not have to be bound by those systems, by those autopilot programs any longer. Under the eye. The nature of my personal reality is mine to alter. Under the nose, I get to be the one to care, to change it on the chin point. <sighs> Deep breath. Other people can want great things for me. Other people can push me to change and it only lands. It becomes real when I choose it for myself. Collarbone. My interior world is what I have access to changing. 
It has been full of debris. It has been full of garbage from other people. And I can change it. Under the arm. Deep breath. Right now, I choose to entertain the possibility that I can create new outcomes. Top of the head. I choose to refocus and redirect my thinking to what if, what if this could be different? What if that could change? Beginning of the eyebrow, I wonder what else is possible here. I wonder what it would take to change this side of the eye. What if I could choose a new target and make progress for myself in my own way under the eye. My past may not disappear, but it does not need to be what creates my future. Under the nose, my past does not have to decide my future. Chin point. I open the space to know that this is my creation. Collarbone, deep breath. If this is mine to create, mine to change, what would I like to have? Maybe I don't know right now, and maybe that's okay too. And the arm. I am inviting possibilities for change. I am willing to consider new outcomes top of the head. I am willing to have different outcomes. Beginning of the eyebrow. Right now, what I can do is all that I can do. Side of the eye. That's part of the fun in playing with these things. My best is relative to me and where I am, and who I am that day, under the eye. I can do my best. I can do what works for me. And I am the one that gets to know where I'm at and how I'm doing, under the nose. Deep breath. <sighs> there are people who would help me if I let them help me. Tim point. There are people who would harm me if I let them harm me. I do have choices to make. Collarbone. Right now. Right now, right here, deep breath. This is my point of creation in the now moment. I can take action. I can care for my health. I can make the investment in the creation of my future, under the arm, deep breath, I have full permission to change whatever I would like to change, top of the head, I choose to know that I have full permission to change whatever needs to change, beginning of the eyebrow, 
I acknowledge that what works for me will be different on a different day. Side of the eye. Deep breath. Right now, I choose to know that it's okay. All of it. Every bit of everything I've ever been through. Under the eye. Everything I have ever thought, everything I have ever felt, is authentic, is me. Under the nose, as I embrace me, as I hold compassion and permission for me, I grant myself space on the chin point, having allowance, having compassion, having permission to be who I already am, lets me relax, collarbone, deep breath. I relax into being who I am. And from this space, I can notice how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, and what I require. Under the arm. This is foreign to me to be here now and in my body. This is not normal. Deep breath. Top of the head. And that's okay. New is okay. New can even be fun. Beginning of the eyebrow. There's a thought. New can be enjoyable. Side of the eye. Deep breath. I can try new things and not be committed to them under the eye. I can try new things and not be obligated to them under the nose. I can try new things and find new things to love on the tin point. I have full permission to explore. I have full permission for myself to be myself. Collarbone. It's okay. Turns out this space in me is there whenever I tune in. Under the arm. It's okay that I didn't know it before. It's okay that I didn't choose it before. Top of the head. Who I am now is ready for different. Beginning of the eyebrow. Who I am now is ready for more. Side of the eye. Deep breath. I can do my best. I can re imagine under the eye. I can redefine under the nose. I can adjust my reality. Chin point. I can alter my frequencies and my life. Collarbone. Deep breath. Oh, I like this space. Knowing that I am safe here and now. Under the arm, I choose to know that I am safe. Top of the head, I don't need to prove myself to other people. Beginning of the eyebrow, I don't need 
to earn their approval, said the eye. Oh, God, that's not what they want to hear. <laughs> I don't need to earn their praise or approval under the eye. I don't need to bend and mutilate and pretzel myself to fit into their expectations. Under the nose, I'm done pretzeling myself. Chin point. Deep breath. I'm done being a pretzel for other people. Collarbone. Isn't that funny? There will always be someone inviting me to fit into their expectations, to accommodate their needs and deny my own. Under the arm. I'm done. I see it now. I choose to be committed to myself. Top of the head. I don't know what that looks like yet. And that's okay. Beginning of the eyebrow. This is new. This is different. Deep breath. Side of the eye. I get to find out what I think and how I feel and what works for me under the eye. I get to find out. I get to explore under the nose. I get to try new things. I get to meet new people on the chin point. I have permission to go at my own pace and choose what works for me. Collarbone. I am the only one who can know what works for me. I am the only one who can set my pace and know what is congruent, what is authentic, what is real and true within myself. Under the arm, I open space for more of my authentic nature, my joy, top of the head. Right now, that's where I focus. More space for my joy, more space for the exploration of my life. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <sighs> that was a lot. Good job. <laughs> Deep breath. <sighs> Take an assessment. Take a minute to notice how you're doing. What has changed? What has come to the surface? Are there more bits of something that need your attention? Would it be helpful to journal, to write it down? I love to do that process of getting it out of my mind so that I can read it out loud and hear what I was thinking and tear it up and burn it. <laughs> Whatever works for you, please choose that. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for choosing more of you. I'm here. I'm happy to talk with you if you would like assistance. Be well.